Hello everyone, Skeleton King here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you a full guide on how to get successful moonshining business in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Now there's a lot of guides out there and I've sort of taken my experience as a moonshiner. I've just started, barely have anything and I've kind of got a somewhat uh, guide going on here that is pretty successful for beginners. And I will be taking you through it step by step, what good things you should do, what you shouldn't do, and all that. So first, as always, you're going to have yourself, you're going to have your normal stuff that you're going to have to get in order to start up your moonshining. You'll get your cook and all that, of course. But once you get that, you'll get settled in. You'll only be able to make weak moonshine, but that's just the beginning of it. This uh, moonshining business, making money, getting cash from it, profiting from it, it is actually good to do only solo because if you do it with posse members, and you sell this together your posse members will actually only make 25 percent of what the moonshine is actually selling for so say it is 8250 for a full moonshine sell your posse members will actually only get around twenty dollars each and you will get the full 82 I'm sorry so yes you will have that amount normally so this of course there are missions that come with the moonshining business that are great to do with friends if you guys ever get bored or need something to do in red dead redemption 2 online and the next part of this is you would want you're going to want to do the bootlegger missions and the main missions or the story missions for the moonshining because once you do the moonshining and all that the bootlegger missions and the main story missions and moonshiners will actually reduce the cost of mash ingredients that will take so for example you have your the weak moonshine is sixty dollars to make for mash if you do uh, bootlegger missions and you do them the full way or you do the uh, the story missions the right way you will actually bring down your mash ingredients down to as low as ten dollars and the max will be sixty every time it will restart every time you purchase mash though so if you do the bootlegger mission and it's ten dollars you could get it for any three of the categories once you have them but once you purchase it it will go back to sixty dollars that means you can just do the bootlegger mission or the story mission or the online story mission as you please and it will bring them back down as always they take about 10 minutes to restart every time you do them. The bootlegger mission always keeps respawning. Uh, I have not completed the online mission as you see here, but the bootlegger missions will always bring down the mash ingredients as you keep doing them. The better the store you do them, so if you poison the stuff, for example, instead of destroying their moonshine, it will actually bring it down instead of like $10 to $50. It'll take $30. So, B cautious of that when you do them those missions sneaking uh, if you make sure you have posse members that will actually be good at sneaking and taking down people quietly because if you do screw up and you have to blow up the moonshine you will not reduce the cost of your mash ingredient as much as you will if you poison their moonshine now of course if you come down into the basement you will have your moonshining business rocketing and this is where your moonshine will be made of course <laughs> So, you'll have three different options of moonshine still. You will have, well, of course, you can purchase these, of course, but you will have weak, average, and strong. Each different rate that they're in will take longer for the moonshine to make, but they will also increase the value that you can sell them for. Weak moonshine can be sold at a max of $82.50 if, if you get the right moonshine. So, for example, Tropical Punch. Moonshine will $75, but the Appleberry Crump or the Evergreen Moonshine is $82.50, and that is the max you can get for weak moonshine. You will have all the recipes, of course, that will do that, but the today's requests are actually just the buyers that they want, so you generally have your buyers that want the specific moonshine. Uh, the thing about the buyers is you do not have to worry about the time that it shows on the bottom. Usually, when the buyers reset, all you have to do is do nothing because usually there is a buyer that will still buy the moonshine is just they will be in a different location 
than from the original buyer that you were going to try and sell it for, of course. Okay, now for those of you who are doing a Moonshiner but do not like to pick up a lot of the stuff that you can find in the natural world of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, you're going to want to start reconsidering this because some of the ingredients that you have to acquire to make certain moonshine, to make your moonshine more valuable in price and profit, you actually have to get certain ingredients. Some of them you can buy from your catalog or any store that you can but some of them you cannot buy right off the shelf so you actually have to go around whatever you can find pick up uh, there will be some stuff of course that you will think that is useless uh, but pick up really anything that you find out in Red Dead Redemption 2 online world because it will be beneficial in the long run especially if you try to make also tonics the moon shining uh, herbs for your meats because you can do a lot of stuff with the great wilderness that Red Dead offers you. Alright everyone, so once you got all your moonshine done, you're going to be wanting to sell it of course, so once you do that, just choose the buyer that wants your flavor, whatever you cooked up, and uh, start the mission. Uh, this part is actually going to be pretty simple, this guy's just going to talk real quick, I'll just skip to the start of it. Alright everyone, so once you get done with this super blobbering, uh, all you want to do really is once you start off, you just want to hold X. Do not tap it or anything, just hold it. You will go at a very slow pace, but this will actually prevent any of the moonshine from being damaged while uh, operating the wagon. Um, try not to go off the road, because if you do go off the road, no matter how smooth the... the you know, at, no matter how smooth the the land is, it will actually bring down the uh, how much is in there not broken. So try to just stay on the road, hold X, and you'll just get there slow and steady. Um, there will be some roadblocks that will try and check your wagon. Just don't even deal with them. Once you see them uh, appear on your map, if you want to expand your map, just hold down on the D-pad and press square. It'll expand your map. Once you see them on your map, you just want to uh, just start shooting them. Um, I recommend doing this part alone too, because if you have more people, then more of the after you shoot one of the the very first barricade or er, blockage because there will only be one in the road uh, you'll have a couple of them on horseback and they will try and shoot you as well and you do not want them to shoot the wagon otherwise it will damage the moonshine very much and you do not want that to happen otherwise you will lose money uh, very rapidly uh, if you feel the need to go any faster just wait till you get into uh, pretty smooth land uh, no bumps as you can see on my map you got a roadblock right there and what you just want to do is just stop the wagon jump out real quick so they won't lock onto the wagon with you on it and just start shooting them you can get pretty close if you want there's usually not a lot just shoot them there's usually not a lot Once you shoot them, it's pretty simple. Just get back on your wagon and take off. Uh, this is the only reason why you'd want to worry about the time is because this will actually, you know, take time away. So you want to take them out as quickly as possible. Um, then you will have some on horseback that will try and stop you, and you want to try and shoot them as quick as possible. If you want to hop out of the wagon, you can that will actually prevent them from shooting the wagon and they will shoot you instead but I generally just stay in the wagon if you can shoot them quick enough they usually don't harm your moonshine at all whatsoever still untouched Generally, depending on who you're selling at, the f it'll be farther away, which will also give you more time. So, just take it slow and steady, and you will get there eventually. 
holding X and being swift on killing the people on horseback in the road blockages will actually give you more time to get there while staying safe and not breaking any of your bottles of moonshine so you can get the full amount of pay just want to shoot them very swiftly if you need to stop the wagon so you can shoot them real quick but if you want just tap the X button to go a little bit faster just tap it once and then hold X holding X will actually uh, stabilize the speed that you are currently on so the more you tap X the more they'll go and if you hold X they will actually just keep going that speed and as you can see I made there in a little under f four minutes and I have perfect so you just want to hold X the whole way if you feel like you need to go a little bit faster just tap X once and hold it and you should just be quick, quick and swift whenever you verse the road blockages and men on horseback and you will be fine and there you have it I have just made seventy five dollars doing the moonshine uh, I also recommend selling your moonshine during the day as it seems to be better while seeing the road and all that because at night it's very difficult to see the road so you don't know what you might be going over or anything like that so just keep an eye out that uh, you can do it at night by all means you can but it doesn't really affect anything in any way it's just you just it's just harder to see but this is a quick guide of course you can always upgrade your moonshine or, or your your still to stronger moonshine which will give you more money to profit off of they all require the same amount of money for mash ingredients unless you do your bootlegging which will bring down the cost of that to a minimum of ten dollars if you do the bootlegging good and maybe two or three times and the story mission for the moonshining um, like the video if this helped you at all as a moonshining beginning in your career in Red Dead uh, subscribe if you like my content comment if there's anything else you want me to try and figure out on Red Dead Redemption 2 online or any of the games that I'm playing currently or any games that I did play and I will hopefully see you in the next video I'm actually up 3 a.m. Uh, took me a while to make this video took me about two hours just to get it just waiting for that moonshine so you do whatever peace out